Turning now to our other top story, the corruption trial of former Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell and his wife Maureen. Prosecutors are questioning the motives of the couple as they presented their final arguments to the jury this morning. Peggy Fox is live at the federal courthouse in Richmond with more. Hi, Peggy. Hey, Andrea. Well, David Harbaugh, Prosecutor David Harbaugh, just spent two and a half hours delivering a very strong closing argument. This is what he told the jury at the very end. He said, this investigation did not happen just because he was governor. He said it happened because what he did was wrong. He told the jury, don't sit there and let him stand on the coattails of Thomas Jefferson and Patrick Henry. This is corruption. This is bribery. Don't let it stand. Now, the governor walked in about 9.30 this morning, and since those closing arguments uh, started, he went over all of the gifts Johnny Williams gave to Bob McDonald. And he asked the jury, why did Bob McDonald take these things, $177,000 in gifts and loans? Harbaugh said it was bribery, and Bob McDonald knew it. And what seals that are the lengths they went to hide it. The $20,000 shopping trip Bob McDonald says he didn't know about that Johnny Williams paid for for his wife, $50,000 loan to, to both Bob McDonald and Maureen. You know, also there's golf clubs, golf clubs and golf outings that Bob McDonald did not report on public disclosure forms. And he testified, Bob McDonald testified that he told his son to give back the golf bag he received from Johnny Williams. Well, Harbaugh said, you know, Bob McDonald can't have it both ways. You can't, you can't buy, be excessive for his son to have the golf bag and then you keep it. It'd be just right for you. The people whose job it was to keep them on the straight and narrow were kept in the dark, Harbaugh said. He didn't tell his staff or report the money on the things he was given because he knew the deal with Johnny was dirty. Here's what Bob McDonald said this morning going into court. I feel, uh, I feel good. I have uh, just kept my eyes uh, on the Lord and my uh, thoughts on the facts, and uh, that's all I can do one day at a time. The whole family's here, Governor. I see your yeah. uh, other son yeah. made it back. We just got back from Vanderbilt yesterday, so the whole family's here, and uh, that's it's my greatest source of strength and enjoyment is my five children, and uh, Any uh, unless they're all here. Governor, I've asked you this once before. Is this the most important campaign of your life? No, it's not a campaign. It's just a search for the truth. That's what this system is all about. Ready for today? Hey, we'll see if anybody left time. I'm sure. Over. I said fine. Okay. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Hey, hey. Remember that Rolex watch? Well, those photographs of Bob McDonald wearing the Rolex watch were shown again, and he's posing like this. And David Harbar asked, who poses like this in seven photos if you think the watch is fake? Really undermining a lot of what we heard Bob McDonald say on the stand. Coming up, we will hear closing arguments from the defense, from both defense teams, and I'll have a full report at 5 o'clock this evening. I'm Peggy Fox reporting live. Andrea.